Understanding Treaty Reservation, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a topic that might sound complex at first but is actually quite interesting once you break it down. Treaty Reservation. Whether you're an English language learner, a student of international law, or just curious about how countries interact on the global stage, this video will help clarify what treaty reservations are and why they matter. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery together. Before we delve into the concept of treaty reservation, let's break down the terms to understand them better. Treaty refers to a formal agreement between two or more countries. Treaties can cover a wide range of subjects, such as peace, trade, defense, or environmental protection. They are legally binding, meaning the countries involved are required to follow the agreed-upon terms. Reservation, in this context does not mean booking a seat or a table. Instead, it refers to a statement made by a country that it intends not to be bound by certain provisions of the treaty. In other words, a reservation allows a country to exclude or modify the legal effect of certain parts of the treaty within its territory. You might be wondering, why would a country agree to a treaty but then decide not to follow some parts of it? There are several reasons, cultural or legal differences. A country might have laws or cultural practices that conflict with parts of the treaty. National interests, a country might believe that certain treaty provisions do not align with its national interests or security concerns. Gradual implementation. Sometimes, a country agrees with the treaty's goals but needs more time to adjust its laws and practices to fully comply. When a country signs a treaty but includes a reservation, the reservation must be clearly stated at the time of signing or ratifying the treaty. Other countries involved in the treaty can accept, reject, or object to the reservation. If a reservation is objected to by another country, the treaty may not enter into force between those two countries to the extent of the reservation. It's important to note that not all treaties allow reservations. Some treaties explicitly forbid them because the goal is to have uniform application among all parties. Let's look at a few hypothetical examples to illustrate how treaty reservations work. Country A signs a global environmental treaty but includes a reservation about a specific clause on fossil fuel usage, citing its dependence on coal power for economic reasons. Country B agrees to a human rights treaty but makes a reservation regarding the jurisdiction of an international court, preferring to handle disputes through its domestic legal system. These examples show how treaty reservations are a tool for countries to participate in international agreements while addressing specific national concerns. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has shed light on the concept of treaty reservation and its significance in international law and diplomacy. Understanding these terms not only enriches your English vocabulary but also gives you insight into how countries navigate their differences to work together on the global stage. Keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video.